morning. Um, I'm heading off to work, but I wanted to give you a very quick update on the Jaron Campanella mission to find evidence for a flat Earth, but probably will confirm that again the Earth is actually a globe. Now, at the 15th of April at sunset, they were here south of the Lifeguard Hut Tower um, at the beaches of Coronado um, in San Diego, actually. So they were here around these uh, dunes, grassy dunes, and what we find is that if they are aiming to the western horizon, they will in fact see, uh, or they would have seen, a sunset here, but there will be a perfectly flat horizon. Now if I elevate here the observer, so if they were flying a drone 500 feet above the water, then of course they would have seen a silhouette, but because the Earth is actually pretty much globally shaped, they will just have a perfectly straight horizon. Now if they pan to the left, they will maybe see, well, pretty obviously see the, uh, is it the Coronado Islands? I guess so. There's even this very little, little thingy over here. And then there is this second Coronado Island. So this was my prediction, Point Loma will be over here, but they will see a perfectly flat horizon. Now I learned that the day after, that is the 16th of, uh, of April, that they were actually more uh, north and they followed my advice to go to higher elevation. And I learned that right now, or well, last night, they were around the, the Cornish Drive parking lot over here. Let's see the satellite images. So there is a lot of opportunity here to set up some cameras. And if I just take here a safe spot, I don't know where they exactly will be or were, because it's already in the past. Again, they will find a, um, a sunset, which on a flat earth, and I'm again, elevating myself here to look over the curve of the earth here in the simulation. If the earth is flat, we don't have to do that. They would see in fact here the silhouette of the mountain. But because the earth is pretty much curved, and I'm going to do this again, I expect or predict that they saw again a sunset with a very sharp horizontal straight horizon. On the left, however, I think that they will find maybe after sunset, the silhouette of here, uh, San Clemente Island, but then just only the highest uh, elevation. So because they are higher up, they can actually, you know, see the, the highest terrain of the island. And again, it's just my prediction. And of course, this is not taking into account any weird atmospheric refraction things. But for now, my prediction is they might see the highest terrain of San Clemente, but it will definitely not be in front of, uh, of the sun. And I wonder actually why they, for example, uh, didn't go more south here on the point, because if they just go, I don't know, here, I don't know if this is public road, but if they were over there, as you can see, they would, they would have seen terrain in front of the sun. So I hope that they will stay a, a third day and just, you know, go here to the to the ancient, or the ancient. This is actually where the, the, the lighthouse was, I guess. Oh, whale overlook. Let's go there, Jaron, please. Perfect. This would, would give a lovely, a lovely observation. Now, if they want to be, you know, low to the ground, why not go here to the restroom Station somebody up on the hill. Voila, there we go. So, Jaron, for example, close to the water as usual, he can see a, you know, straight horizon, while a person um, higher up behind him can then confirm that the Earth is again a globe. Who knows? We'll see, and this begs, of course, for a very deep dive after they release their footage. For now, I have just seen some things, um, but not all, of course. So take care, my fellow apes, and I keep you updated. Bye-bye.